Hello everyone, welcome to this special edition of CGTN's live streaming and today I'm in the suburbs of Lhasa in Tibet and look around me, the mountains over there as we roll the camera that way it's such a beautiful, it's such beautiful scenery over here it's a little bit chilly today and the altitude now is around 3,700 meters above the uh, sea level so I'm a little bit breathless probably so I'll do my best here over here and over here you can see the creeks down there and the water is lucid, it's crystal clear and today of course I would like to bring our viewers to Linka but what is Linka? Linka in the Tibetan language it means a garden so that is one of the most celebrated events that Tibetan families here usually do uh, usually in summer times around August or September now it's, um, the weather is really good it's a little bit hot, I have to say, when the sun is out. It's a little bit cloudy, it was drizzling a little bit. But I do enjoy the beautiful scenery over here. And today, if we roll the camera around, you can see that there are some years. And later, we're going to go into one of them to join a local Tibetan family uh, to see how they celebrate Linka, to see how they uh, enjoy quality time with their family. And of course, for me, I worked in Tibet for half year back in 2016 and I feel very excited to come back here once again they are all working here the air is the candy clouds over there and I think in the background here is part of Linka. So in Linka, when the local Tibetans celebrate the event to uh, spend some quality time with their family members in Linka, they usually have some Tibetan music, which is amazing. Um, you know, it's uh, not that easy to celebrate here, usually for me, I think. Uh, it's a little bit, I feel a little bit breathless. Uh, it's only because of the lack of oxygen at this point but it's summer is uh, good already and I think my face is a little bit puffy I have to say when I got up in the morning and my lips have turned a little bit purple because of the lack of oxygen uh, I've taken some medications of course uh, some reminders or heads up for some our friends or viewers who probably are planning to come over here to Tibet wow it's a little bridge down here see there was a creek and this place has been designated by the local government for the local Tibetan families uh, to do Linka as we call it and they have made this place so enjoyable uh, to celebrate with their family the water is crystal clear it's a little bit chilly I have to say well I would like to wash my hands a little bit before I go in and enjoy some Tibetan food and the snacks over there. Of course, my colleague uh, is in the yurt uh, already, so I'm going to join them. And of course, if you have any uh, comments, you can leave your comments down there on CGT and social media platforms. We'll get back to your questions as soon as possible. If you are interested in Tibet, uh, the Tibetan culture, the Linka culture, ask your questions. And of course, we have some local Tibetan friends over here. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, they are doing the show, which is the uh, Tibetan dice. And of course, later we're going to join them. But now let's uh, go into the yet now. Let's go into the yet, and later we're going to come back over here. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Yeah, they are doing uh, the Linka, as I said just now, in the yurt. This is very Tibetan, very authentic. And this is my colleague who Hello. just came here yesterday, your first yes. time. Okay, tell us, tell us how you feel about Tibet so far. And you were drinking some bubble tea, not mm -hmm. bubble tea, but the Tibetan tea here, or butter tea, or the black tea, literally. Wow. Okay, so uh, hi there, I am Hongzhou, also with CGTN, and this is my first time uh -huh. ever in Tibet. Uh -huh. uh, and also, this 
This is called butter tea. Butter tea. And in local language. Yeah, let's let's, let's, okay, take let's sit down. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's take a seat and later we're gonna talk mm -hmm. to our auntie. Okay. So just a reminder, auntie means the sister. Okay. And you mm -hmm. use that term to address uh, the woman who has got married already. So uh, my 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 impression on this tea was actually very good. Ah, yeah. I like this tea yeah. very much. <laughs> Uh, it's a bit, uh, so it's a little bit salty because it's uh, they've put uh, uh. butter and a little bit of sauce uh. inside, so it tastes a bit salty. Yeah, a little bit different than uh, the milk tea that we often see in big cities. Mm -hmm. The milk teas are sweet. Well, this is a little bit salty, but I like it very much. I yeah. like the this the is very much taste like of butter. Yeah, and the tea. this is butter tea. Yeah, this I is think butter, butter tea, tea ma. Uh, uh, is that is that butter tea? tea? Sweet tea. Sweet this is this is butter tea. Just I just said. Oh, butter tea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Ajia, would you like to join us here? Yes. Okay. Would you like to join yeah. us here? Here, over here. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. That's fine. You can. Ajia, would you like to say hi to our viewers around hi. the world? Hi. Ajia, would you like to tell us more about yourself? Oh yeah, yes. my uh, name is Sri Tiki. I'm a uh, citizen. Uh, <laughs> Today we have here two mm. family reunion mm. and uh, just uh, family members. To have a my family reunion, right? Uh, With yeah, our family yeah, members. Yeah. <laughs> do you do it very often? Uh, how many times do you do it in a year? Only summer. Only summer. Uh, two or three times. Two or three times. Not uh, very often. Uh, yeah, not, not very often. Yeah, yeah. So Ajay's name is uh, Sri Tiki. Yeah. Sri means uh, longevity. Long life. Long life, <laughs> that's his long longevity. Life, yeah. And Deki means uh, prosperous Deki. happiness. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that is long life with happiness. That is yeah, a very yeah. good name of there. Yeah, very common name. Very Japan. common name. Very common. Uh, ah. Deki for girls name is very common in Japan. Ah. <laughs> if you call Deki, so many girls may look at you. May look at you, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Deki. Oh, yeah. And also, yeah. I, I would like to know yes. more about the. Uh, the attire, your traditional attire, your dress over here. This is ah, a special dress. event. Oh, yeah, mm. yeah. This is our traditional uh. Tibetan style, uh. Uh, only in summer season. Uh -huh. uh, in winter, it's not this. It's more warm uh -huh. because summer is the best season. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have lots of festivals during uh -huh. this summer, uh -huh. just like uh, Linka Festival uh -huh. and uh, horse racing. In the farmland, we have Mongol Festival. In the northern Tibet, mm -hmm. uh, there's a herdsman. Oh, uh, ah. They have uh, horse racing. W what is the Wongo festival? A uh, Wongo festival means uh, 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 harvest. Ah. Harvest, harvest time. Ah. Yeah. So, so what do people do? Uh, yeah, they celebrate uh, uh, harvest. So uh -huh. they have uh, uh, performances for uh -huh. seven days. Uh -huh. yeah, they sing, sing and dance and. Uh, mm -hmm have all kinds of sports, also mm. yakro racing. So very much like the uh, traditional rituals you had, you observed before, right? You had the traditional dancing, singing to celebrate yeah, yeah, the yeah. harvest also to better uh, in August. Yeah, in yeah. August, right? This is this is autumn. This is not autumn. This yeah, is last summer. Week, uh, last month, I joined to oh. Mongol Festival in Chishu County, Ratu Village. Oh. I uh, lived with the local uh. villagers for four days. For four days. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. That's lovely. Yeah. Mm. They celebrate the mm, yeah very. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Celebrate the event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. For seven days. Mm. Hongzhou, I know you have been here. Your first time here. Yes. And then when it comes to the attire, Aja is wearing the traditional uh, attire for women. Yeah. That is a. Uh, you see this blanket over here. That is not like blanket, but very, very much like an apron. Apron. Mm -hmm. And do you know what that is? Yeah. That's, a, it's just that's for a quiz. Decoration. Because decoration. it looks very good. <laughs> I, I, I think that's a question. The, the color pairing are very, uh, uh, very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, Adia, before, before we answer that question, I think that is also a question for our viewers from around the world. If you find a Tibetan woman wearing something like an apron like this, and then what does this mean? You can leave your comments down there if you, are, if you know that, if you have the knowledge. Okay, and yes, later we're going to. That means, mm -hmm. that means okay, uh, the us? girl's married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you marry the you will just a apron, no? Uh, apron. Bandi, we call it bandi in Tibetan. Bandi. 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 
Bandian. 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 Uh. Uh, in the farmland, people mm. use it to working sometimes. Mm. Put some, put some things in it. But, But in the city, it's uh -huh. just uh, for uh, decoration. Why do uh, married women wear aprons like this? Bandits like this. Bandit, uh, can do lots of things. Uh -huh. <laughs> Because uh, if you uh. need to carry some things, uh. Ah. Yeah. Uh, so it's very much like a pocket. Yeah, you just, yeah, yeah. Uh, you just a tuck pocket. it up there, yeah. Yeah. and it's like a pocket, like a basket yeah, yeah. to carry yeah. food or something. That yeah, is yeah, why yeah. I said it is very much like an apron. Like married women, they probably. We just spend a lot of time in the kitchen, and yeah, then you're yeah. gonna like, have a have an apron like that. It would be really helpful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how how do you feel about Tibet right now? Uh, I think Tibet is progress, uh -huh. <laughs> and the people's life mm -hmm. is getting better and better. People's lives are getting better. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, and this time uh, uh, we went to the uh, village. Uh -huh. We find the uh, the village. The uh. stuff is better than before. Ah. Have a bathroom. <laughs> Bathrooms. Yeah, bathroom. ah. So before they don't have. No, bathroom. they don't have bathroom. Yeah. Mm. What was it that? What the in, what's it the instrument that oh, she is playing right now? Tibetan instrument. Tibetan called jamnian. Jamnian. Yeah. Hmm. It's jamnian. Jamnian. Traditional Tibetan instrument. Shikze. Ah, Shikze is the second largest city in Tibet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All the people in Shikze can play that. Can, can play, play that. that. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah, yeah. Ah, later I would like to join her. I would like to try my hands on that beautiful instrument. It looks very much like a, like a Mongolian instrument. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. a six-stringed plucking instrument of yeah, it. Yeah, that's a horse head. Horse head. Yeah. That ah. makes it really yeah, Mongolian, yeah, yeah. I think. I think that's the uh, mixture between Mongolian and Tibetan cultures over there, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I know these two regions are very much connected when it comes to its religion and cultures. Yeah, yeah. And we have got some comments over here. Uh, that is uh, Hang Tua on YouTube, Yak Butter. Uh, that is Yak Butter, right? Yak Butter. Yak Butter. This is Yak Butter. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Yak Butter. Uh, this is Yak Butter. If I can give it a Close look. We'll give it a close look. You can see this is yak butter and this is sweet tea. Sweet tea. Well, from the look of it, they look very similar. <laughs> uh, you can't quite tell, right? You can't tell. Uh, this is homemade. The sweet tea is homemade. Tujichi, tujichi mola. Tujichi means uh, thank you yeah, yeah. in the Tibetan <laughs> <Tibet's laughs> language. It means thank you. Uh, I have picked up some language over here. I stayed half year back here back in 2016, so only I can say thank you to Jichi Totena or uh, you're welcome. That is Kantik Mare. Yeah, Kantik Mare. Kantik Mare. And I know in the Tibetan language you have this honorific case, okay? Like for different people, if you're addressing different kinds of groups and then you use different languages, there would be the uh, I mean, we will find the differences in the suffixes, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. So this yes, is butter tea. <laughs> butter tea. Butter tea. Uh, sweet, sweet tea. tea. Butter tea. You can see the oil, oil on the, yeah. on top. Yes, right? because they, they've added butter um, into it. Yeah, uh, I think that is the fat from the yak butter. And that is uh, on Facebook, Adia. We have got a comment that the George Barney Luca on Facebook. I think George Barney uh, has been our diehard fan. I've seen a lot of you. <laughs> Looks really clean, really the, clean water. the water. Good, good enough, good to, enough drink. to drink. Uh, I think uh, it, it, she meant the yeah. creek water Gio out there, right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Giovanni was talking about the creek over there. And mm -hmm. later we're going to return to the creek if you like. Of course, mm -hmm. stay with us. And that is uh, again. Delight loves movies that tent is called, called a, a yurt. yurt. Yeah. yeah. This is called a yurt? This is uh. a yurt. This is a yurt, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it is very Mongolian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can enjoy some snacks over here. 
<laughs> so, Ajahn, so uh, we've also noticed some uh, some Tibetan people they they chose to do linka outside on the grass. And then yeah. why you chose uh, to do linka within this tent? Yurt. Yeah, because we love nature, <laughs> and uh, we Tibetan people uh, like to close to the nature um. and uh, the mountain, the grassland, and the rivers. Yeah. Ah. Uh, suburbs to this is the suburbs of Hesse City. Um, very far about uh, maybe maybe yeah. uh, the twelve or fourteen kilometers. Fourteen kilometers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. So we drove here from Lhasa City. Um, it took us around one hour probably and twenty minutes. So it's a yeah. little bit far. And it's, it's a raining. Oh, it's, it's raining, raining outside. It's raining outside. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a very good question. Yeah, that's why we chose to why do Linka within a tent, right? Why do you do yeah, Linka yeah. in the tent? Rains. Because yeah, it's yeah. raining. Does it, it rain often? It you two? Yeah. Uh, and that's your son. Yeah. <laughs> you two come over here. Hi. <laughs> come, come, come here, say hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's raining outside. Ritual, would you like to say hi to our viewers yes. around the world? Yeah, tell us. Yeah, hello. Hello. Who you are? <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy to be here. My name is Ritual and I'm 17 years old. You are 13 years old. 13. Yo, 17. 17. 17 years yeah. old. <laughs> Ritual is now studying in Beijing. So you're going to stay here until the 17th. That means you can stay for probably three more days and then going back to Beijing, right? Yeah. When are you going back to Beijing? The day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Yeah. How do you feel about your life in Beijing? Oh, it's very happy and exciting. Ah, yeah. very happy and exciting. Yeah. Knowledge. Ah. Yeah. And then, so in Beijing, what do you find is the biggest difference between Beijing and Lhasa? Uh, Beijing is very exciting and uh. modern. modern. Yeah, modern. modern city. It's the modern city. Beijing have many things I have I haven't seen. Ah, many things you haven't seen. You went to yeah. Beijing. This is your so your senior year, your high school, senior high, right? And then you have been staying in Beijing for two years already. Two years. And before that, I knew you uh, spent around four years in Shanghai. Three years. Three years. Oh, yeah. Three years in Shanghai. Junior high. Was it? Middle school. Middle school. Mm -hmm. Which one do you like? Which one do you prefer? <laughs> Shanghai and Beijing. That's a, that's a tough one. Beijing. Uh, Beijing? Yeah. Why? Why is that? Because the weather in Beijing is better than Shanghai. <laughs> the weather in Beijing is much better than that yeah. in Shanghai. Shanghai is a little bit humid. Yeah. Uh, Beijing is dry. It's uh, very much like that in Tibet, right? Uh, Anja, do you feel proud of your son? Your son studies really well, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Because I'm so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is your he Tibetan would, modesty. Yeah, he would do lots of things. Ah. So we, I, I just have one son. You have mm -hmm. one son? One, uh, just one child. One ah. child. <laughs> so I would like to know, and I think many of our viewers around the world probably must be quite curious about this. How do you study uh, on the Chinese mainland? How do you go to Beijing and Shanghai? Do you need to go through the examinations? Very tough examinations. How do you study? How can you study in Shanghai and Beijing? Uh, ah. Ah. How, how, how can... Yeah, I mean, they, they should have this process. I mean, the, if they pick some students from Tibet, if they can yeah. stay in yeah, Shanghai, yeah. okay. Yeah, so you have to go through tests, right? Yeah. To, like, what examinations do you have to go through to study in Shanghai and Tibet, in Shanghai and Beijing? What kind of tests do you have? Uh, uh, best. The best. Oh. <laughs> I think it's the best. High mark. High grade. High grade. Ah. High grade. <laughs> like, how many students can be picked each year? If they want to study in Shanghai or Beijing? In, in my school, maybe 20. 20? Uh, yeah, 20 from Tibet. Uh, 20 students, just 20 students. Just inside one school, like 20 students? Uh, yeah, yeah, one school. So what about the whole Tibet? Do you know uh, any knowledge? 40 students. 300. 200. 20 hundred. 20 2000. The 2,000 students mm -hmm. across Tibet will be picked every year to study yeah. in Shanghai, Beijing, any other cities? 
apart from Shanghai and Beijing? Many big cities. All of big cities. All the big cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. And you don't miss your home. You don't miss Tibet. Do, do you miss? Do you yes, miss your home? I miss. You I'm do. Sure, yeah. Ah. So maybe after your high school in Beijing, where do you want to go to university? Uh, I want to go to Tsinghua University. Wow. So still in Beijing, right? Okay. So we have got a comment that is from Tang Tua, Tang Hang Tua. I'm sorry. Wow, Ru Chu has traveled more than I have. <laughs> like you have been traveling a lot. <laughs> okay, and also we have got another comment th、uh, from Hang Tua. That is, what's the、uh, butter fat contents in yuck butter? What's the butter fat content? Butter fat contents. How do you,、uh, Adi? I think that's a question for、mm -hmm. you.、Mm -hmm. How do you make butter tea? Uh, it's easier, <laughs>、yeah. right? So with a modern machine, and then you have some butter and also salt, and you mix them together, and you keep boiling them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have yeah, this、uh, easy, easy. blender thingy. It's a blender, yeah, very much like a blender. But before you had a blender, what did you do? I mean, in the most traditional way of making butter tea, what is the most traditional way of making butter tea? Yeah, before、uh, the machine. Yeah, before the machine, there's a wooden, wooden、uh, bowl. It's、uh -huh. a long bowl.、Uh, you have this bowl thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when I was young,、uh -huh. I、uh, I remembered. Yeah,、uh -huh. First, you should uh, close uh, closely and、uh -huh. uh -huh. hush. Uh, does it taste、yeah. any different? I mean, with the wooden thing or with the machine, does、oh. the tea taste different? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But I think it's so easy. It's easier. Yeah, now, it's easier to make yeah, butter、easy. tea with machines. With the modern technologies, now everything is becoming so, easier. Yeah, yeah. I have seen that before, and you said it's very much like I think it is.、Uh, Like bamboo, right? Yeah, yeah, you have、yeah. this、oh, bamboo、oh, thing,、yeah. and also you have this pastin thing, and then yeah, so yeah. you press it hard each time. How many?、Yeah. Maybe, probably hundreds of times、so、until everything is mixed up. In the farm,、uh, farmland, maybe.、Uh, in the farmland. farmland. Okay. Ah, that's that's lovely. <laughs> okay, it's fun as well. So,、uh, just a reminder for those who have just joined us: this is CGTN. We're broadcasting live in Tibet. Your first time here、yes, in Lhasa. Yes, this is my first time in Lhasa, and、uh, first time having、uh, a taste of this、uh, wonderful butter tea.、Uh, <laughs> so it is in the suburbs of Lhasa. We are doing this linker thing. Linker means garden. So very much, it's very much like a picnic, and people would spend quality time with their family members. And also, we have been talking to Adia, who has been my friend for five years already, and also her son Uchu. Oh, thanks a lot. And this time, Aja、uh, is doing a、mm. linker with Ruchu and also the big group of family because Ruchu will、mm. be leaving、uh, uh, for Beijing to、uh, attend school in just two days.、Uh -huh. So they want to、um, cherish this moment of family、mm. reunion. Family reunion. Ruchu now is studying in Beijing, and then you are leaving for Beijing pretty soon, the day after tomorrow. And of course, in the background, I think you have.、Uh, You have been listening to this beautiful instrument over there. So, right would you like、there? to join her? Would you like to join her? I just、okay. would like to join her, and then yeah, to yeah, play yeah. that yeah. instrument. Yeah, yeah. I think this is part of the. The representative of the Tibetan culture. Ah. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 你好 ，Hello, Hello, Hello. You you speak some English, right? Right. Right. Okay. Would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world? Would you like to say hi? 跟我们的网友打一声招呼。Hello. Hello. Can you tell us more about yourself? Your name? My name is Yunju Baiji. Yunju Baiji. Yunju Baiji. What what is that in Tibetan? Yunju Baiji. Yunju Baiji. Yunju Baiji. What what does it mean? 是什么意思？啊，金不卡不的呢 ？White cloud， 哦 ，White cloud， 啊 ，White cloud， 啊 ，That is a beautiful name. Yeah. Would you like to join us, Ajia? Would you like to join us? Okay. To serve as a translator. 
Thanks a lot. I'm so interested in the instrument you are playing right now. So what is this called, and how long you have been practicing it? This instrument you have been practicing for how long? Six years. Six years. Wow. Six years, and you are a veteran already. Ah, you can, can, would you like to play that for us? And this, uh, yeah. these other notes. You can play a lot of things. A lot of things. And what, yeah. what is that? Ji nai wu chu. It's like a milking, dancing, milking. something like that. I mean, literally. Okay, would you like to do that for us? Give us a piano. Ah. You That is amazing. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And as you can see, it is going faster at the end, right? Towards the end, it's going faster. Probably you need to milking. You milk. need to be milking faster. <laughs> you need to speed up. Would you like to tell us about this instrument? This instrument, please tell us about this instrument. You have been studying for six years, right? Yes. 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 嗯，啊，甲年，甲年，甲年，甲年，甲年。Like it, yeah, six stringed instrument. Ah, how long did you did it take you to master it? 多长时间学会的呢？呃，嗯，多长时间 ？One year. One year. Oh, it took you one year. To master this instrument, six yeah, string instrument. Her spare time. Spare time. Spare In your spare time, yeah, one year. Yeah, just uh, Saturday and the Sunday. Uh, uh, maybe uh, winter vacation or summer vacation. Wait, winter. Yeah, okay. Winter vacation. Winter or summer vacation to yeah, study yeah. this. I would like to try that. I would like to try my hands on this instrument. I've never done that before, but it looks very much like a Mongolian instrument. Especially the top of it is like the uh, it's like horse head. Uh, Have you ever played one before? Uh, no, thin. never. <laughs> do you do you play any instrument? I play guitar. You play the guitar, it then you should try that. It looks similar yeah. to a guitar, but I don't know would I would it damage it. It's smaller. It's smaller. It says small version. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Ah. Guitar dancing, right? Guitar. Guitar. Mm. Mm. He can. He can play guitar. Yes, I know a little about guitar. But yeah. Never it's much. Jam. Jam nyan. Jam nyan. Jam nyan. Jam nyan. Uh, it's a comment. A beautiful Tibet and the people Jiayu Tibet and Jiayu China. So someone is commenting. It's like it's really beautiful here. <laughs> beautiful Tibet and the people here. Uh, very hospitable. Ah. And also have we have got this on YouTube, also from Han Tua, very hospitable lady and handsome son. You too, very hospitable lady and handsome son. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is the pick. Mm. Uh, do, do I, uh, which string do I need to press? Or oh, no, oh, no, no string? Mm. 
You don't have to. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is easier. La. La. Mm. Ah, okay. Which one? Do. Do. Oh. Okay. La. It looks more sophisticated. Yes, yeah, it, it looks more sophisticated than it sounds. This one, this one string. Mm. Uh, what, which one is Ray? Ray, 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 Ray. Kong Ray. Ah, Ray. Uh huh. Me. Me. <laughs> it's very difficult to memorize it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think one of the most difficult parts of it is you don't have it's, any yes. marks here. Yeah, because, uh, you know, uh, the guitar. on a guitar, there are, there are marks. Yeah. There are very like different clear marks. The yes. different sections. Mm -hmm. But in here, you need to <laughs> you need to memorize only with your, uh, your memory because it doesn't have many mm. uh, marks here. That's the most difficult part tell. of an instrument yeah. like this. I mean, when it comes to stringed instruments, uh, especially in Tibet or Xinjiang mm -hmm. or in Mongolia, they don't have the marks over here. But for yes. guitar, that's a Western mm -hmm. instrument. They have different sections for you to uh, figure out like which parts you need mm -hmm. to press to play an instrument. That is lovely. Uh, this is really difficult. So uh, it took her probably a year to master mm -hmm. this instrument. And then she has been practicing that for six years already, usually in summer and winter vacations. Why, why did you choose to learn this instrument? Why did you choose to learn this instrument? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. ah. How do you remember the, the notes uh, exactly where they are because they don't have marks? Because they don't have marks, how do you remember which note is in which note? Just like this. Just like just your muscle memory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's uh, very much reliant on your muscle memories, yes. which makes it more difficult, sophisticated, yeah. well, and it's also very I'm not long. Clever enough to remember the places, uh. I couldn't remember the notes. Mm. Uh, it's uh, way more difficult on, than on a guitar. On a guitar, I can remember like which mm -hmm. uh, which mark, which mm -hmm. mark is do, which mark is re, but on. Mm -hmm. uh, Jamnian, mm -hmm. I couldn't remember it. Uh, at least for this past mm. 10 minutes, I couldn't remember any. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, it's much longer. I mean, the strings are much longer, which yes. means they have more notes over here, right? So you have flat and also... So we have got some comments, more comments. That is uh, Huang Tua again. Thank you so much for staying with us. You have been uh, with us for about half an hour already. So she is lucky to be over 13 years old, so talented and keen to master this instrument. And also on Facebook, that says Lily Mu Beautiful Tibet, which means Tibet is so beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, practice makes perfect, of course. Yes. Yeah, trick is makes perfect. Yeah, I think the ring has just uh, stopped, and uh, I would like to play. I think that's the last part of this uh, live stream. I'd like to play shoe, shoe. I would like to play shoe outside. It uh, has stopped raining. Okay, let's do that. Okay. okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To teach Thank you for teaching me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, Yeah, I would like to play shoe. Would you like to join us? Okay, shook. So shook uh. is a very Tibetan style of uh. dice games. Uh. Uh. Look at the beautiful weather. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's too, too short. It's too <laughs> short. It's too short. It's too short. Uh, it was it not raining that raining. much. Yeah. And then you can see it's a little bit cloudy over there, but also blue sky there and the creek. And today I would like to play this shoe. This game, this very traditional Tibetan game, especially, it is a, a must for a linker. And you can find tons of people, Tibetan families, playing shu, they're playing dice, uh, Tibetan dice. And before I came here, and we learned something about it, but still, I didn't get the hang of it. Yes, it's very difficult. There are uh, many rules to remember uh -huh. in order to play it well. To play shu. Okay. Oh, thank you. 
Do we have uh, another chair? Shoo! Okay. Okay. Can we move it a little bit over yeah, yeah, here? Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Oh, the sun is the sun is out. Well, so. <laughs> <laughs> so Ru Chu. Mm. Your name is really interesting because Ru Chu means the sun is out, means uh, sunrise, and also in Tibetan language it means wise wisdom. Okay. Do we have another chair? Yes. Okay, great. Let's play shoe. <laughs> when he was four years old, he can play, but I don't uh, know. Ah, so you can play <laughs> shoe when you were around four yes, years yes, old. On it. On it. Uh -huh. so yeah. So, so shook is that one kind of dice game that uh -huh. you have to play at least uh, two, mm -hmm. uh, two, two players, or three players, or maybe four players. To mostly yeah, to men, men. Mostly, yeah, it's mostly played by men. But why why don't Sorry. women play shoe the game? Uh, because uh -huh. I think it's for lots of uh -huh. uh, women just walking. <laughs> Maybe in the old times, uh -huh. yeah, men the men uh -huh. stay uh -huh. and playing. Men could have more pastime. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so women usually stay in the kitchen yes, and stay. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Jianhao. Okay. okay. Join. Mm -hmm. So before we get started, probably we can get a closer look at the game. Thanks a lot. Closer look at the, uh, like the, uh, how mm -hmm. is how is it played? I don't know. And we have got some shells over here. If we can give it a close look, we can give it a close look. It has a lot of shells. Okay. Where did you get these shells? And also we have uh -huh. mm. ah, some yeah. coins. Yeah. Okay. So I think that is that is yeah. Well, the game either begins from uh, the youngest or the, the oldest. oldest player. So I was so uh, I was thinking about seniority. Usually you start with the oldest person in the family. Okay. Yeah. Seniority, and then you start the game, and mm -hmm. then before we get it started, probably Yushu, can you tell us more about the rules and how it is played? And also the culture about Shu. Give us a little bit about how it is played. You can use, uh, you can use yeah. whatever language that you find most comfortable. Tibetan. I think yeah. it's a very long history, yeah. Uh -huh. um, because it's, it is a play. Mm -hmm. um, a game. Tibetan play, yeah. Tibetan game. Uh, first, I tell the rule. Uh -huh. Everybody has nine days. Yeah. Okay, this is very interesting. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. And these coins actually were found in the Qing Dynasty about 200 years ago. Yeah. And I don't see <laughs> them quite are often. Authentic? <laughs> yeah, are they authentic? <laughs> are they real? <laughs> 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 I don't know. Uh, they're, they're real. Found out. Okay. Okay. These are uh, fake coins. Yeah. And also we have got. And this one, uh, also from the Qing Dynasty, of course, fake ones or plastic. And these are from the. Uh, okay, uh, before that. But, anyways, whatever coins you use, that is fine. But each player would have nine of them, right? Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, and then, first, we shake this. And this. Uh huh. So you have. So we can know the number because this is nine. And so nine you're gonna nine okay. You're gonna roll the dice and you have two of them. This yeah. is nine. Nine. Okay. And what 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 about the shells? Sense then what what, role, they, what roles do uh, they play? What do they play in the game? Uh -huh. um, we have uh, uh -huh. just like this. It's nine, uh -huh. and we uh -huh. choose this, and we. Uh -huh. nine. Pick nine, nine shells, right? Yeah, pick nine okay. shells. And we that is nine. Take it. We pick nine shells, and then you're gonna yeah, put, put two. It. So that is very much like. Okay, we don't have dealers here, so it reminds me of. Uh, you have no, right. Yeah, who yeah. distribute like the. Uh, but but why you 
put two coins, not one coin here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, first we, we, we can put two. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, uh, twice, uh, and we put one. Oh! Okay. Oh! One. Does that mean anything if yeah. one yeah. dice <laughs> flew out? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, it just means what it does mean. What if what if the dice flies out? Yeah, if you lost you one of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. No, no problem. Okay. Get on that. Twice. Uh huh. That's three. It's three. That's three. three. Take three. Take three. And we put on it. Oh. Okay. So that's gonna be three shells over here, and then you put one coin, coin. over here. Okay. And then the next player would pick it up from there, right? Okay. So who's the next player? Jo. 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 So we're gonna get it started, right? And then so you're gonna take back your coins, and then we're gonna start over. From here, and then we so do. We now start uh, from the the mic. Okay. Shopara. 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 What does it mean? Shopara is what? Is two. 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 It means the happiness and also prosperity. I mm -hmm. uh, I wish uh, it would be happy or it would be prosperous or anything. Happy and yeah. Happy. Yeah. Double happy. Yeah. Double happy. Wow, oh, which is, uh, that is 11. 11. 11. Yeah. 11 or 11? 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. Oh, it means uh, thunder. So they, they, they call it to in their to local language. To. And it means to. thunder. Ah. So whatever okay. number comes out, they would have a local, uh, local term to describe these dices and the numbers. Okay. Mm. And this one is called to, uh, which is thunder in the uh, local language. That sounds like English, to. It's really to. <laughs> 11. But it means a thunderstorm. Okay. So you're going to have 11 shows. So, that's a three. 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 Two. Ah, that's how you move the shells yeah. like that. Mm. Yeah. One, yeah. two, three, four, mm -hmm. yeah. and you put them here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. very much yeah. looks like you have intercepted jewels coins mm. over here, right? Mm -hmm. And then you are here ahead, probably like one shell ahead Sugu. of jewels yeah. coins here. Okay. Sugu mm. sugi. Mm. Mm. Well, what is sugi? Sugi. Uh, one thing to. that you need to know is that. Uh, the, ah. the player who gets to the end ah. of the shells is we'll the win. winner. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so they are competing ah. yeah, against each other. So to see who gets to the end. Uh, ah. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so very so basically uh, so basically this is suku ski how okay so may I not to how can you make it here uh, uh, okay, so the thunderstorm will be upon, will hit upon a spirit. Okay. So that is very interesting. I think that is part of the culture here. Before Buddhism was introduced into Tibet, uh, the original religion here was born. So the wish is very much like pantheism. Mm -hmm. Pantheism means that you have spirits for everything, like mountain god, creek god, oh. tree god. Yeah. So there were so many spirits. So you're gonna have this uh, thunderstorm on spirit. So the player himself cannot open uh, the dice. It has to be opened by others. 
Seven. Okay, that's a seven. That's a seven. 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 And one coin here, so he can only put it here or there. Ah, that is. Ah, okay. That is really complex. That's the place where reindeer sleep. If the reindeer sleep too long, the reindeer will die. So okay, that is the uh, local slang, yeah, local which is slang. Uh, Very if you interesting. yeah, with if you don't have any knowledge of Tibetan language or culture, then you don't understand anything. Can I? Do I have the honor to open it? Six. One, two, three, four, seven, uh, three, four, five, six, six. I can. It's, it's, it's not bad. Six, six here, right? Six here. Yeah. So this is you, you. So you have two places. Okay, you are holding two places. Your fortresses, and then this is Jules' place. One, and this is Ritual. This is you. Okay, this is Joe. Okay, wow. Like you are the best player so far. I okay. want to bring this game into other cities. I would it's like funny. to. I would like to bring this game to Beijing. Yeah, I would love to. Or abroad. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh. What does this mean? This is twelve. It's a double six. Double six. Highest. Like like the tallest, the highest. Let's see. Uh, four. 11, 12. Wow. So you are jumping all the way from the second place yeah. to the top. So you, now you are the front runner. Yeah. This is 11. Okay. Ji, Shan, Shan, Ji, Mountain. Mountain. Ji? <laughs> what, what proverb do you have this time? This is your Shaman Yan Yu. Mountain. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is a one. Yeah, he plays one more on top of his first. And then you got another another chance. You play whoever plays one more coin. You play whoever plays one more There are tons of rabbits in the mountain. Okay, tons of rabbits in the mountain. I think rabbits means proliferation, which means probably more prosperity. It's not this one. Rabbits. Rabbits means proliferation. You have more. Okay, reproduction. And now. You are an excellent player. One, you have three. One more time. That's three times in a row. Zhi, zhi, zhi. Tongbu Zala. Tongbu Zala. Tons of mountain, tons of rabbits in the mountain. Once again, proverb seems very lucky. Four, four, one, one, two, three, four. And you can't do it. You can't do it because there are two coins here, right? Yeah. So now he cannot play any coins on top of this. Oh, good luck. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
哦，这可以叠加到一起。这是为什么？因为这也是打死，这这个也是。OK， 如果他的话，我把他打死了啊！我自己，我自己接了。OK， 我的权力最大。So you have, so basically you have two. You have two, you have two fortresses here, and then it is four, and then you can place it on top of your your coins. Because there are four shells here, so if it's a four, you can jump four shells. Yeah, talk. Is 什么意思？说还是 tons of rabbits in the mountain. Tons of rabbits in the mountain again. Lots of rabbits. Wow. Double one. Double one. Double one is the best. Double one. 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 嗯，发的，我我行了。如果我继续玩的话，啊，很多玩，但是我只有这一个，我不能玩。Yeah， 玩的没啥意思。Okay， so you're gonna start from the beginning once again. Okay， and then the end game of this whole thing is you need to finish all of the coins in your hands, and then all of them should be、uh, end up here. Okay， so you you have four of them in the middle already, and then you're gonna start over to finish some more of your coins in your hands. <laughs> okay, and then you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna do it one more. Okay, okay. okay. How long will it take to will it take you to finish this game? I mean, I mean for each round, 一轮要多久才能完事儿呢 ？One hour, maybe. One hour. Okay. Okay. I think we're gonna take probably a few more hands, and then we're gonna end it from here because it's gonna take them probably an hour or more. Okay. <laughs> And then we have got some comments already.、Uh, YouTube, that is Alexos eight seven four one. Why is the square hole?、Uh, I think, I think she or he was referring to this coin. Ah,、uh, the, co the hole in the coin.、Uh, as I said, the coin was used. It was the uh, uh, legal tender. In the Qing Dynasty, about 200 years ago. So usually back then, about 200 years ago, they have the、uh, holes in the middle. So if you have more of them, and then you can put them together. We call what we call it. There is a special term for it in English, but I forgot. But that is easier for them to store money. Okay. So that is why they have a hole. Okay. Let's、uh, continue with, with the game. Ah, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Okay. 这个是我的啊，这个也是我的， oh. 因为留有这中间插三六六吧，六上一个叫那个鹿鹿鹿鹿 means six 羊羊 sheep 是羊羊，然后我会这样这么打的。Yep. Yep. That's a very long one. <laughs> 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 that means 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 Folklore, jaga, 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 king jaga. Ah, you have to kill the sheep now. Okay, kill the sheep now. Kill the sheep. Kill the sheep. Ah, it's high time. You kill the sheep. Whoa! That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and there. Okay, second, second more. Yep. Total mass is going to be four. Four here. One, two, three, four. Four. This is not good. You can't place it here because another place is already here. Ah. Ah. So this one, go this one or go this one? Yeah. Uh, so that's four coins. That one, two, three, four. Four shells. Four shells. That is、okay. passed. Moving、right. the two coins here. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Next player. Ah.、Uh. Okay. Four. Oh, that's a four. One, two, three, four. So he has another round. <laughs> another round. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shoot. 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 Shoo ba da, shoo ba da. What did you say? Hey, two one. 
Shubhaja. Shubhaja. Happy. Five. 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 One, two, three, four, five. And you can place it here. I think I've got the hang of it a little bit. Um, but still, it's very sophisticated. And then you are rubbing the dice on your on your knees. Does it give luck? Yeah. 在这个腿上磨这个骰子是会有好运吗? I will give you good luck It might give him good luck rubbing the dice on his legs 巴拉巴拉巴拉拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖拖
mm-hmm. at the moment. So I, I think I'm, I'm back. <laughs> I'm yeah. myself again. And the mm-hmm. tank of oxygen will last probably for three days. And then I mm-hmm. think you need to save on that. Okay, thank you so much for staying thank with us, so especially much. for our diehard friends. <laughs> <on> <laughs> exactly. YouTuber Huang Hang Tua has been staying with us mm-hmm. for an hour and a half. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for staying with us and enjoying the beautiful view in yes. Tibet. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.